What's up y'all? So uh, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, something like that, I made a video reviewing a vacuum chamber that I got for real cheap on Amazon. And I needed to make an update to that video because I have had a change of heart on the review that I initially gave it and I don't want to mislead y'all. So let's go take a look at what's going on with it. If you watch my original video about these, I was really impressed with the performance right out of the box. Uh, the vacuum chamber held the vacuum very, very well for a long period of time. The pump was very powerful. It ran really smoothly and quietly. I was really impressed that I got such a high quality product for such a good price. But now I'm having some issues both with the pump and with the vacuum chamber. The acrylic lid to the vacuum chamber has started to crack everywhere. Now initially they were just these really shallow cracks and if you feel it, it feels like there's some sort of film that is on uh, the acrylic lid there. So I thought it was just cracking in that film. But as time went on, they got deeper and deeper, and you can see now there are cracks traveling well into the acrylic lid. At some point, this thing is going to implode <laughs> if I get too much suction on it. Uh, so this is no longer usable. At least, it will become completely not usable at some point. Right now, it does still function. However, it doesn't matter that this functions because I'm also having problems with the pump. So let's take a look at that. And I'll just illustrate what's going on with this pump by turning it on. Oh wait, what's that? Yeah, you can't turn it on, because it doesn't do that anymore. Luckily, I got it off of Amazon, and Amazon has a really good return policy. Uh, so I'm gonna be able to send it back and get my money for it, but I can't leave it with the sterling review that I gave it last time. <laughs> Being as cheap as it was, I didn't expect it to perform as well as it did when it was working, but I also didn't expect it to get completely busted and unusable after only stabilizing four batches of scales. But unfortunately, most of the time, you get what you pay for, which usually plays in my favor as a furniture and knife maker because I'm competing against mass-produced stuff from China, not unlike this vacuum pump. But it does suck when it bites you in the ass, right? Anyway, don't buy this. It is not a long-lasting or quality product. So I just wanted to post this video to give everybody an update on this product. Well, that's it for today since this is just a little update video. Until next time, y'all have a good one.